Now, Six News Sports. There is something about playing for the team that you grew up cheering for, and that is part of the reason Caden Becker is back home. Well, I'm really excited to be a Husker. It's been a dream of mine to play for Nebraska since I was what, probably five years old, so it means a lot for sure. Caden is transferring in from Wyoming, where he started his college career as a quarterback, same position he played in high school at Stutt Catholic. This offseason with the Cowboys, Caden's athletic ability tested top 10 on the team. That's when he started to explore a position change. He brought the idea of playing tight end to the staff because he's always been an offensive player. After spring break, I got back to Wyoming and Coach Bull ultimately made the decision to move me to defensive end. And I felt like I was more of an offensive minded kid and I bring more to the table on offense. And so therefore I decided to enter my name into the portal um, as that tight end slash fullback role. Um, and see what kind of opportunities were out there for me. At that point, he knew if Nebraska was interested, he would head to Lincoln. Caden sent the Huskers his tape, which showed him playing tight end, but the Huskers staff was also interested in what he could do in the backfield. They kind of talked about that, that fullback role while I was down there and kind of the things they were going to have me doing. And, um, you know, it all sounded great to me. It sounded like a great fit. And so, yeah, I mean, it just ultimately led me to make the decision to go to school there. So, Caden will report at the end of the month and he'll have four years of eligibility. Nebraska also adding to its 2023 walk-on class. David Borchers is coming in as a preferred walk-on. He's out of Eldridge, Iowa, which is the other side of the state. The previous Husker staff liked him. He's familiar with the program, and now he's decided to come on board with the new staff. David is a three-star offensive lineman who can add some much-needed depth up front. And uh, what a change from, from last week as the football team was trying to get down to 85 scholarship players. <laughs> A bunch of people were leaving this week already uh, one day in, and we have two guys coming yeah. in. One of them coming home.